One of my favorite tools in all of 3D is the light mixer in V-Ray. Why? Because lighting is so important to any image and having full control over it intuitively and in real time is fun and creative, but it also makes my images way better. So as an ArcViz artist, you can imagine how excited I was when Unreal Engine added a light mixer to its toolbox. Unreal has long had an environment light mixer, which is also great, especially for setting the overall mood of an exterior shot. But since Unreal Engine 5.1, we now have the ability to control all the lighting in our scene in a similar way, making sure we nail the lighting in our scenes every time. Getting the lighting just right can change the mood, increase the drama, and make our images far more realistic and engaging. So let's definitely explore how this tool works. Okay, so I'm going into this old scene of a kind of cabin anim animation that I made, which you may have seen on YouTube. And let's just go into the light mixer. You do that by going into Window, Light Mixer. That brings up the light mixer. And here we can just add lights if we want. But mostly we're here for a list of all the lights we have in our scene already. These columns can be controlled. And so I like to set them to the things that need to be controlled often. You can control them by right clicking here and actually every single setting of the light is available in here to bring up. You can use mine as an example as a good start. These are things that I control often. Attenuation radius, intensity, and light color. Now it's just a matter of adjusting these to be what we want them to be. Of course we can turn them on and off here with visibility and we can solo them too. So if we solo just this light, turns off everything except that light back in the bedroom there. You can solo two together, which doesn't actually make that much sense, but it does allow you to do that. And then you can turn them all on and off using these eyeball icons too. Now let's look at if we adjust the colors, that will do. Okay, so, so you see you have full control over the lights. And of course, we can add in here a directional light too, and add some sun in if we wanted to, make it whatever color we want, change the intensity. This might be done better in the environment light mixer, but it could be done here too if you want. Let's turn that one off. Now with the environment light mixer, obviously you'd have, and these are both essentially the same tool, but the environment light mixer adds in, it's focusing only on the environment settings. So the directional light is in here as a sun, because it's part of the environment, but then the HDRI backdrop is also in here, the volumetric cloud, and the exponential height fog. Okay, so this is controlling all things environment, not just lights. If we combine them, we want that directional light back on, and that's what would be controlled here. HGRI backdrop, it's technically a light as well. Volumetric cloud, remember that's the background clouds. The fog density is another big thing that's going on here in the scene. Okay, so we could push this more towards a daytime scene like this. Turn up this thing. And then if we went to the light mixer, we wouldn't need all these lights because it's like daytime. In fact, we can probably turn them all off, except for the directional light. Okay, so you can see, I, I mean, I like it better, obviously, with the, the more drama. But what I want you to see is that if you combine the two tools, environment light mix and light mixer together, then you have real control over what you want your scene to look like easily in a nice interface. Super easy to use. That's really all there is to it. The light mixer, I think, is a huge add to Unreal Engine because you can imagine if you had a ton of different lights in here and you were trying to zero it in, this scene I already had zeroed in how I wanted, but while I'm doing it, these tools become a very important thing to nail the lighting, to have full artistic freedom to make it look exactly how I want. Interestingly, the, the HDRI backdrop is not in here. It's in the environment light mixer though. So yeah, that's about exactly where I want that lighting to be at. If I took this spotlight and turned it up even more, 2,000, 3,000, 
Another thing that would be nice here is if you had the inner cone and the outer cone here as one of the settings, right? So to do that, you just go there and select it and say, you have to find it in here, inner cone angle, outer cone angle, oops, wrong one, 400. Take this, change the inner cone angle like that. Get that light looking exactly how you want it. The attenuation radius could go way down, maybe to right there. Okay, and that really gets more out on this uh, backyard here. Do the same with this one. Another setting you could have here is with the, the fog effect. What's that setting called? That is effect volumetric fog, volumetric scattering intensity. So we could add that into here too. Obviously, if you get too many settings in here, then it's going to be more worthwhile to just use it over here and we're going to get too cluttered. We want this to be efficient. If you change this here now, we can get more volumetric effect going on. Super volumetric or no volumetric, right? Okay, so there's all these settings in the lights and you just have to dial them in perfectly. And being able to do it in real time with a nice interface like that means you have full control over how this scene's gonna look. And I think that's a fantastic tool and one of the huge benefits of Unreal Engine over other, other software. The ability to do things in real time like that and get instant feedback is huge. So that's the light mixer. Very simple, but a great tool. Start using it. And of course, as always, if you want to check out how to make these kind of projects in Unreal Engine, check out the links below. Subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, more ArcViz industry news, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.